for me the challenging thing to run a gallery is to actually find the person who enjoy what you do as much as you do. The gallery is located in the best area of Valencia, which is the old part of the city. It's called El Barrio del Carmen. It's really close to the Iva Museum. It's really close to the central markets. It's really close to the main squares. It's really close to the quad towers. For us, it's you know, the, the, the area of the city where everything is happening. Me and Miriam, we are both artists. So when the first owner of the gallery, Pep Benjoc, decided to close the gallery, he offered me and Miriam the gallery for free. We were lucky and what we did was like trying to internalize you know, the gallery to what it is the position at the moment. We are both running the gallery but also we are a couple. So obviously, you know, when you are together and you run the business together and you have having children together, it's really complicated and it's better to actually separate in some specific point the different parts. We do deal with uh, 18 artists, Latin American, East Europe and international Spanish artists. That will be the three lines that we're trying to follow. We realized, you know, a long time ago that, you know, the artists that we like is artists that they have a really strong uh, social, political uh, consciousness. And we really like the idea that, you know, we avoid Central Europe. For our Barcelona and Miami Beach uh, this year, 2018, uh, we are really proud to show the work of Claudio Perna, who is one of the keys of the conceptual art in Venezuela. We will see a selection of his Polaroids, a selection of photography uh, and text, and also a selection of his maps, because he's been developing a lot of maps where he including photocopies, where he including text, where he including images or collages in top of it. To work with a lot of artists that they have a dictatorial period past, they have a strong sense of humanity. You really need to understand your more dark period of your history to understand the present. <laughs>